If you look at the world, you know, and there is this phenomenon of uh, globalism, so much so that uh, communities are becoming more pluralistic, communities are becoming more diverse. So it is important that you get to know them in order to be able to live in harmony with them. And you can only know them through interfaith or interreligious dialogue, trying to, to know the people in the context of their religion. And I think dialogue now is very important with the kind of world that we live in. When I was dean of the graduate school and I was about to be in the mid-50s, I began to think on uh, giving back to society because I feel blessed with my career, with my studies, with my family, and therefore it's time to give back. One day, Father Leonardo Mercado, who was uh, Executive Secretary of the CBCP, Episcopal Commission on Interreligious Dialogue, he approached me and asked me whether he could use my conference room for a meeting of an organization. It's just the officers meeting, six or seven people. And I said, of course, Father, you may use my conference room. After three hours, they invited me in. I thought they were about only to say thank you and then ask me to join them in the snacks, only to find out that they were electing me as Secretary General of uh, Asian Conference for Religions for Peace Philippines. And uh, I was dumbfounded because of religion, but why not out of it? But I, I, I couldn't seem to object. If you enter into an inter interreligious dialogue, you must respect each other, and the respect must be mutual. And you have to have respect in the spirit of religious freedom. So if a Muslim believes that Jesus Christ is merely a prophet, and we Christians believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, we don't argue about it, right? That's their belief, so we respect them for it, and they must also respect us for what we believe. And then thirdly is that uh, there has to be a sincere and genuine desire to know the other in the context of their religion for the purpose of being able to collaborate and cooperate with them eventually. Looking at it from my own faith, Christian faith, the Pope says that our universal vocation is love and charity, right? And how do we love? We have to know them in order to love. That's what St. Thomas said. You cannot love that which you do not know. And how do you love? We need to uh, learn the language of the cross. The cross always reminds us of that he loved his disciples selflessly, sacrificially, understandingly, and forgivingly. Well, because we have the idea of interreligious and interfaith dialogue, then we, I think, the students and the faculty, we are more welcoming. I crafted a phrase for UST based on the exit interview and testimonies of our uh, exchange students. And there's always one common comment that I get from them, that they, when they come to USC, they feel at home. I felt a more deepening appreciation of my religious identity, being engaged in interreligious dialogue. It gave me a better understanding of the human spirit thus making me more inclusive.